How you guys doing today? Welcome to another Steam Deck news video. In today's video, we have a new Humble Bundle deal. We have an update to Proton Experimental. We have another update to SteamOS. We also have another Steam Deck client update. And finally, Ghost of Tsushima released for the Steam Deck. We're going to talk about how this one performed. So if that's something you guys were interested in, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this video. So first in news, we have a new Humble Bundle. This one titled Humble Brutal Beat em Up. So with this, you get games like River City 2, you get Double Dragon Gaiden, you get River City Girls, Bud Spencer and Trance Hill, River City Girls Zero, Battle Toads and Bud Spencer and Trance Hill, Slabs and Beans. So again, check this out if you guys were interested in beat em ups for your Steam Deck. So next in these, we have an update to Proton Experimental. With this update, it does bring some improvement and some fixes to some games. So let's break that down. As you can see here, improved Chinese font rendering in Cosmoda, Starship Autotech and Commander. It improved font rendering in Alien Swarm. Fixed Descent 3 not work in GL mode. Fixed Bloons Monkey City thinking is offline. It also fixed Halo Infinite rendering using a weird resolution on the Steam Deck. And also some improvement to other games. So definitely check this out if these games interest you. Next, it looks like we got a new SteamOS update. This one titled SteamOS 3.6.3 Preview. Third times the charm. So with this, it does bring some fixes to general. As you can see here, fixed an issue with 3.6.2 where the session could crash after using keyboard and mouse. Worked around the bug where HDR couldn't be selected in Halo Infinite. Also fixed some known issues. Frequent session switches can result in the sound driver crash needing a system reboot. So again, it's pretty cool to see Valve really add it with SteamOS in these updates. So this is quite impressive. Let me know what your thoughts in the comments below. So it looks like we got another Steam Deck client update. There's a lot of fixes to general and steam input it seems like we've just been covering a lot of these fixes so i'm not gonna go into a lot of details here i'm just gonna highlight it here so you guys can take a look at these fixes and see if you guys have any issues with these and check it out if you do but these are the changes to general and steam input so again let us know in the comments below if you guys have any of these issues so finally ghost of tsushima released for the steam deck and boy this is quite impressive this device as you can see here this is a video from steam deck gaming he did mention that with hdr you do run into some issues when it comes to just the brightness and color overall but with a medium graphical settings with this one you can get anywhere from 40 to 50 fps which i think is quite impressive for a game that just released of this high caliber for pc but yes i've been playing this one on my deck so far and i've been enjoying it so if you guys were wondering if ghost of tsushima works or runs well in the deck just know that it does and know that it's a good experience overall but yeah let us know in the comments below you guys playing ghost of tsushima all right fellas that's all we have for you guys thanks for watching appreciate you guys we'll catch you guys in the next one until next time peace out